All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this is war number 10. Um, obviously, my mouth is not moving in the image that you guys are looking at. That's just a still uh, photo from the scouting that I live recorded. The audio was so awful for some reason that um, I decided just to do a voiceover. Now, uh, I did figure out what was causing the audio to be so bad, and um, I, I fixed it. So for future... Uh, scouting phases um, and, and live reactions, it'll it'll sound a lot better. But anyway, um, here we have our first fight uh, up against this Hyperion here. This is on path five. It's Ebb and Flow Knockdown. Um, and I've got Magic here. Um, the next fight is a Nick Fury uh, that I'm going to use Magneto for. And, um, and then I also brought... Uh, Doctor, D or I'm sorry, Archangel, for a couple fights uh, towards the end of the war. Uh, now this fight, I'm actually not going to show you. Um, I do think that Magneto is the best option for this fight. He's the safest, safest option, and uh, because we're in a competitive uh, fight for the top three, and the war season is not yet over, I decided that I'm not going to show you that fight. However, I will show you guys at the end of the season um, why Magneto is so good for that fight. So here we have a Dr. Doom. Now, initially I was like, yeah, I'll just use Magneto. Dr. Doom is metal. Uh, this is EMP modification, which means for every buff that you get as an attacker, um, every time the defender throws a special attack, you will get uh, dealt shock damage um, for each buff that you had uh, since the last special that the defender threw. Now, the reason that Magneto is not a good idea here is because uh, Magneto's prowesses are active buffs. So, um, he is 90% shock resistant, but, um, I mean, you, you know, getting 40 prowesses or more against a metal defender, if Dr. Doom were to throw a special and Magneto's ability accuracy didn't prevent EMP modification from inflicting that passive shock, then it would be 10% of the passive shock dealt, but that passive shock amount would be absolutely massive because of all the prowess buffs that Magneto would get. So instead, I chose to use magic here. It is a long fight. I don't have suicides on. Um, I am pretty heavily boosted here, but just from block damage alone, um, even with Limbo helping me regen some of the damage I take, um, I mean, lost 50% of my health. So, um, here we're going to try Magneto on a couple fights that are not uh, against metal defenders here and see how viable he is. So, um, the reason I brought Magneto on this path is because this is obviously the healing path or the regeneration path, whatever you want to call it. And uh, since I brought magic for Hyperion and Doom, um, Magic obviously has that awesome synergy with Magneto. Anytime you knock down any defender, you inflict a 12 second heal block. Um, and then against metal defenders, that heal block becomes a passive, uh, which is awesome so it can't be shrugged. Um, so I'm just basically recycling my heavy attacks. Um, I'm playing normal Magneto style here, but every time I knock him down, I'm refreshing that heal block on him. I'm still able to do those big bleeds. Um, it's not, it's just not going to be the crazy, you know, one shot SP3 that you see against metal champs when, when playing Magneto properly. So it is a little bit long, longer of a fight, not really a big deal. Um, but Magneto is still pretty good. I mean, his attack rating, um, with all those prowesses on special attacks is still ridiculous. So you're going to do quite a bit of damage. So here I have Magneto, or I'm sorry, uh, Venom. Uh, this is the... Uh, buffet plus um, enhanced regeneration. Uh, so basically, you know, a defender on this node, if you don't heal block them or, you know, through some means bypass um, their their buffet or, or don't crit or, or, I'm sorry, don't buff or something like that, usually they're going to heal up to nearly full, if not full. So um, here I am just... Um, Again, trying to knock him down to keep him heal blocked. Um, now, here in a second, I actually make a mistake. I, I don't know exactly what specifically I did, uh, but I just let off 
my block, you guys can see there, right as he's dashing in, um, for some for some reason, I don't know why I did that, and um, he got me with a couple nice crits there. So I'm glad that I'm bleed resistant, otherwise those bleeds could have done some serious damage because he crit on two of those hits, but um, I'm going to throw my SB3, and this is kind of a good option, or a good, or good look at Magneto's SB3 bleeds um, against a non-metal attacker, or a, a defender. Um, I didn't get a lot of prowesses, uh, so I didn't get a lot of bleeds. Um, and, you know, one weakness that I found with Magneto on attack, especially against non-metal defenders, um, is with 5 out of 5 limber, um, your window to actually charge his heavy to double his prowess stack uh, is, is very, very thin. Um, so, you know, against non-metal defenders, you can only stack five permanent prowess by knocking down the defender. There I thought that I was going to intercept him, um, and he's down at 1% health which is a little annoying, not really a big deal, but um, but yeah, I mean, that fight did cost me half of my health. Had I not made that one mistake, it would have been fine. Um, so here I've got um, Sentinel, obviously Metal Defender. I make a mistake there at the beginning of the fight. I thought that I nailed my parry, and I just assumed that he would be stunned, so I go right into my heavy, and uh, I missed the parry timing, so he smacks me a little bit. Uh, but basically against a Metal Defender, um, with the exception, I would say, of Dr. Doom, um, it's going to be very difficult to die with Magneto. Um, there are some nodes that basically if you screw up on the nodes, you're going to die no matter who you're using. Like Encroaching Stun, if you mess up on that, or Stun Reflection. If you mess up on those because of the uh, elongated stun, um, it's stupefy, you're just going to get uh, completely destroyed regardless of who you're using on attack. But for the most part, Magneto is, in my opinion, the safest option for uh, any metal defender. So, um, yeah, on this note, I mean, I'm, I'm getting, my power is being suppressed right now. doesn't really matter because I'm doing big damage on all of my um, heavy attacks. I'm keeping him passively heal blocked. And then that defender did have suicides, so uh, he ends up killing himself. All right, so here I've got an Arcus, and then up next I've got a Spider Gwen. I'm going to be using Archangel for both of these fights. Um, we found that Archangel is the safest option for Arcus on this node, which is Rage and Return Policy. Um, I've used Doom on this fight several times and uh, trying different strategies with Dr. Doom. Because Doom's attack is super, super high, he is usually going to um, proc that the Rage Furies, or he's going to hit the Rage Damage Cap, uh, producing those Furies for Arcus. Um, and then when you try to nullify with Dr. Doom, obviously, um, he's going to get a lot of power, and then he's already naturally resistant to power drain abilities. So... Um, it's just a little bit more dangerous of a fight with Dr. Doom, in my opinion. Archangel pretty much takes away the fight. Um, I did use an invulnerability boost here just in case. we. This was a really close war. I didn't want to take any chances. And uh, if he got to an SB3, it would, it would do pretty big damage against Archangel, who does not have a lot of sustainability. So, um, But otherwise, it's it's pretty pretty straightforward fight. Uh, this one is pretty much fine. I'm going to do a lot of reparries here. You guys see I get off the reparry. Whenever I have a bleed, I want to reparry to try to add poisons. Once I have a bleed and a poison, um, then I can convert those into neurotoxins. Because this defender is run running 5 out of 5 limber, I just want to make I, I wanted to make sure at the beginning of the fight that I could stack up those uh, neurotoxins uh, as quickly as possible because uh, otherwise she could evade out of the second part of my heavy attack and punish me. But um, once I have three neurotoxins on him uh, or on her, uh, the fight is is pretty much won. I just have to be careful here. But she won't be evading, which is awesome. And she goes down. So that is uh, the war for me. Um, I did have a couple iffy Magneto fights against non-metal defenders. Um, but for the most part, I do think that he's a pretty viable tacker. Um, you know, against regeneration if you're using the magic synergy. He also has that synergy with um, the same heal block synergy with 
Sabretooth. If you guys are running like uh, Omega Red and Sabretooth, throwing in Magneto makes Magneto really, really strong. So that's it for the war. We ended up winning. We're still in third place right now. Um, heading into the final war of the season to try to lock that up. I did get the gold card, my second card ever. Um, Brett with the platinum card and Sire with the silver. So that's the war. Leave a like and a comment, guys. I will be posting uh, that Magneto strategy against Nick Fury after the season ends so that you guys can see that for uh, future interactions with him on the heavy hitter node. I'll see you guys in the next video.